You see that Ye will be on Aiden Ross stream. Yeah, he's going to go on a lot of YouTubers' uh, content as well as streamers, I heard. I think that is so silly. Thanks for bit Seiza. The gift sub Mashari. Things of the Prime, Sebi Sonic. Did you see the Twitter Aiden Ross clip? Oh, about uh, fastism? Yeah, I saw. That was rough. <laughs> he, he, should, he should not have done that. Thanks the bit smoky again in the bits K. Hey K. Oh, that's super sweet. Draw um you said it's in two weeks. Draw the main god slap villain to Fister. That'd be hype. And hope you're doing well, K. Thanks to Risa Banjo. What did Aiden Ross do? Oh, the clip he's talking about is on his stream, Aiden Googled fast like Aiden Ross had this whole thing where he was trying to be like more educated about things so he's like what the fuck is fastism never heard of fastism in my life so he brings up the definition and then he mispronounces like every word in the definition of fascism and it is rough <laughs> it was it was pretty silly I don't know why he did that either I didn't even see the context of it I'm guessing it was to prepare for the Yay interview or something. I really have no clue. Is that tomorrow? What, the Aiden Ross Yay interview? I have no idea. All I know is Yay's booked a lot of YouTuber and Twitch streamer stuff. Things are sub medium sized in the prime scummy and give sub saint and the bits binny and yoff. Would you put Kanye on the podcast? I personally wouldn't want to. I, I think it's just taking advantage of uh, his mental breakdown. Not that it excuses the shit he's saying, but everyone that has been associating with him is just plugging their own shit. So kind of just riding him for more popularity for themselves which feels really fucking weird especially with the things that he's spewing so i wouldn't feel comfortable with that 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 wouldn't be for me but i'm i, I i'm not gonna lie i'd be very curious to press him a bit though i know he'd get up and leave so you have to walk a really fine line for anyone that's interviewing him I'd be very curious to hear what he says about Balenciaga since for some reason he still supports Balenciaga after their ads sexualizing kids and with like the child porn document in it. And for some reason he's like, yeah, Balenciaga is great. So I wonder like, does he think the sexualization of kids isn't a big deal? Like where, where does he stand on that? I'd be very curious because I feel like he just says the most absurd shit ever i wouldn't be surprised if he was asked that question he comes out and says actually sexualizing kids isn't a big deal like that wouldn't shock me if he said that Things are resub Cone, Finnegan, Everson, and Packing in the Prime. X Ray, Christ, Lubicious, and Icy.
<laughs> We're getting silly. Yet? Oh, we'll be getting silly. Thanks, the resub, Mishari. I think this Jesus image has got him to accept everything and everyone. There's a difference between that, like, old classical take of you have to love everyone no matter what and agreeing with everyone. So, like, him talking about loving Nazis and loving Hitler and then saying the Holocaust isn't real. Like, that's a little different than the old Christian tenet of love everyone. That's super fucking different. He's a tier one. Tom Stewie and the resub Curly. Plus, I also don't think he's on that that uh, that Jesus take of loving everyone because he hasn't said he loves Pete Davidson. Why hasn't he said, I love you, Pete Davidson, even though you fucked my wife a lot? Many times, in fact. Why hasn't he said he loves Pete Davidson? Why does he keep going to Nazis and Hitler if he's trying to make his point? Do Pete Davidson next. Is it Prime Lurky and the resub Afterburner? Hey, J Mac. Prove yourself, Kanye. Screw Pete Davidson. I don't know if this is. Oh, actually, hold on. Milo just got dropped from Kanye's posse, right? Milo no longer works with Ye. I remember while we were doing the podcast, someone in the chat posted the reasoning. They dropped an article that said the reason Milo left is because he accused Ye of wanting to have sex with him or something. Was that the actual reason? Because I never even bothered to look into it. Hold on. That may have been a joke. Now, the first thing is about how Milo's out after infighting in the campaign room. God, there's so many articles about this shit. Holy fuck. I don't even know which one to go to. Maybe Insider. <clears throat> this is a really short article about it. I'm just going to assume that probably wasn't the case. Just because you don't agree with someone doesn't make them a bad person. What? When did I ever say that? One of the main things I talk about is how people should have different opinions than you. Like my friends aren't just echo chambers of me. Is that your attempt to defend the shit Ye's saying? Thanks to the resub G disc orange Karishi Tyrannic in the Prime Binji Teddy in the gift sub loof. Thanks to the bits sunny. No, I can't say I've seen that one, Sonny. That does sound pretty cool, though. When did he shorten his name from Kanye to Ye? I don't remember. I keep forgetting that he did that, but chat always reminded me, so now it's drilled into my head that it's Ye now. I don't remember when he did that, though. Thanks, Arisa, Joey. 
Yeah, any of them in chat, Joey. That was a while ago. Mm. Thanks, are you sub dooby doo? That was sweet. Well, thanks. I just think it's wrong to judge someone because they said something controversial, not trying to dick ride him. So that was your attempt at like defending Ye somehow? What what are you talking about? I mean, I, I don't even know what your point is, not to judge him. He's very clearly mentally unwell. I think that's something anyone can see when he's talking to a fucking net during his interview and making an Elmo voice for it, and the people around him plugging their own shit on his Twitter. And then him talking about loving Nazis, loving Hitler and the Holocaust isn't being real. That, that's like a problem.